Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. So there are a lot of questions that I can see in the WhatsApp group or in the let's say in many of the WhatsApp groups or in many uh, I can say in the social media platforms that anyone is everyone is asking what is a HCL interview question, what is a Infosys interview question, what is a Deloitte interview question or let's say what is a Infosys interview question. So I have explained a lot of times that there is no no such specific questions that is related to company prospective but basically it will be related to your profile okay whatever things you are writing in the uh, let's say in your resume based on that they will be asking you questions basically if your profile will match with their requirement okay whatever requirement they are having if it is matches with your profile description so they will be having a interview with you and they will be asking you questions from your resume itself resume or cv itself they will be asking you question there will be no question will be coming out of your resume okay so you need to prepare on your resume so if your resume is matching then only you are getting a call from the hr side or from the interview side okay but still I can say some people are still asking the same question so I will just give you an overview of what are the questions that have been asked to me in HCL okay so we can say in the HCL what kind of question you can expect for four years of experience and please make a note of it that this is not a any kind of probable question or sure sort question or anything so this is only related to like this is we are just for for a discussion purpose this is what asked to me it is not like that same question will be asked to you but you should prepare on the all of the topics that you are working on or there are some topics are there in SAP so you need to practice on that one but basically we will get an overview on this one okay and uh, for your information the hundred days classes or 100 days challenge classes we have not started it yet okay so we will be starting it soon because of the time constraint i'm not able to record the classes okay so we will be mostly we will be starting it soon okay so just be patient and wait for that one so before going to the topic where you can get the item or where you can get the document or material so you already know that we are uploading all of the documents in the website itself so you can get it from the website from the digital product it is in the digital product so here you can see in the digital product there are a lot of documents are there resume format is there sap wm1 uh, sap press book is there okay here you can see there is a uh, certification dumps are there, T codes is there, interview preparation, MM questions are there. So you get, here you can get all of the things. Here you can get time to time. Here you will be getting the questions. Okay. Not the question, but the documents here you will be getting. Where you can get the link? Most people they have already have a sign up over here. They can get a notification while we are uploading the document. Or you can get the link from the video description so link will be in the video description as a website link learning website so from there you can get it to here okay so let's understand what are the questions so there are two couple of rounds happen in the hcl interview okay so so here we can say the questions are all are not related to directly to the let's say um, we, we can say for a job interview but some questions are there which um, which are from the let's say internal project discussion also okay that that are there so I'm putting all those questions over there so it will be helpful for you so first thing it is an introduction so in every interview let's say you are work, going for a client interview or if you are going for a, a company interview let's say you are changing your job at that point of time you will be getting an interview or let's say inside a company you are working and you are let's say your project is finished or project is completed so after that you will be going to be onboarded to another one project so basically there will be some project discussions will be happening so in that case also they will be asking you certain question so first thing always will be introduction they will be going to get you know like this is a we can say icebreaker round okay where you get to know uh, like the interviewer will get to know you okay then 
what is a P2P cycle? This was the first question what was asked. What is a P2P cycle? And explain the process. Okay, you have to explain what is a P2P cycle and you have to explain the process. I'm not going to answer it anyway. Okay, because I believe more than 10 times I have explained this. So it is your time. You have to prepare. If you are still unaware of what is a P2P cycle, go to the videos, main videos where MM videos are there. So go to that session and find out these answers. Okay. So now next one is what is the consignment process? Basically, they have asked for the like what is the process flow or process description? What is the concept of consignment process? They have asked that one then subcontracting process with accounting entry so subcontracting process accounting entries i believe all of you know that what kind of accounting entries will be happening while you are issuing the goods to the let's say uh, to the subcontractor if there is any kind of accounting entries so they might ask you these things okay is, will there be any accounting entries while we are issuing the goods to the subcontractor okay uh, or what kind of uh, let's say um, accounting entries will be there when we are receiving the product from the subcontractor what kind of entries are there so you have to explain it likewise then what is what is a physical inventory process and you have to explain what are the um, let's say in the physical inventory process what kind of uh, accounting entries are there okay that that is that was the question then what is a pricing procedure and how it work Okay, you have to explain what is a pricing procedure and how it works. You have to explain it. Then how the price will trigger in the purchase order. Okay, how the price will fetch in the purchase order. So that you have to explain. What is the logic behind that? How the price will trigger. Okay, so just comment right in the comment section. I need to, I just want to know how many of you will be able to answer this one. So there is a simple one line in one liner i can say answer is there how the price will fetch in the purchase order when we create a purchase order how it will pick the price so just answer that one in the comment section let's see how how much you have knowledge on the sapmm okay then explain the release procedure that you have used in your last company so basically in your last project what kind of release procedure you have used you have to explain that one so that was the next question so last one is what kind of let's say um, last question was from the project round um, so basically on the project basis they have asked like have you worked on the implementation project so if you are saying yes okay so they will be asking you what kind of phases are there inside the implementation pro project and on which phases you have worked on on which areas you have worked on so there will be a lot of question we can say five to six question from the implementation project was there okay next one was the managerial round so managerial round it was not more into the technical side okay so basically you can expect let's say a couple of things will be there let's say whoever is taking a managerial round or let's say we can say a client round if they are into the sap so they will be asking you certain question let's say they are from sap mm and you are also from sap mm so they might ask you a couple of question related to technical side but most of the people they don't uh, like uh, they they don't uh, waste their timing time by that because already you have a let's say feedback on your technical expertise from this technical round so they will not waste their time in this one so directly they will be asking you about like what is your working process like how you worked in the last project so that is what it was asked so what are the roles and responsibility of the last project which process you have worked individually okay do you have any enhancement idea what kind of enhancement you have done in your last project okay so these are some of the questions that has been asked in the managerial round and apart from that definitely in your managerial round they will be asking you about the salary about the notice period about the let's say joining location or how fast you can join so these kind of questions will be there okay so these are basically the questions that you can face or you can expect okay there is no uh, like specific questions these are not specific to the hcl but you can get these questions in anywhere okay but these questions basically i have faced in the hcl interview so in the coming days i will be uh, explaining you some more interview question based on the different different companies how what kind of 
uh, questions they have asked me so that it will be a combined effort so that you will be uh, knowing like it, it will be a combined question like you can combine all of these questions and you can get all of the question from the SAPMM and you can practice on that one okay so that's it for today we'll meet up in again in the next class till then bye bye and take care